This video was made possible by Skillshare. Skillshare is this amazing online community where you can have classes on almost every single topic you can imagine. You can have classes on design, illustration, user experience for your mobile apps, and you can even have classes on development. Like for example, this amazing class given by George Escobar, professional Python web development using Flask. And this is extremely useful for you Flutter developers out there trying to use a different uh, backend for your Flutter app because you can use your Flask knowledge with Python to build web apps and build the restful APIs that can be used as the back end of your Flutter project. This class is extremely beginner friendly. If you have no idea of the ins and outs of Python, I would highly recommend you to watch this and it would be very, very, very rich of good content for you. The first thousand people to sign up using the link in the description will have two months for free on premium, which is more than enough for you to watch this class and finish it. If you do so, you'll be supporting the channel. So thank you very much. A few days ago, I was creating another tutorial when I had an idea. What if I use the knowledge I've gained over the years to build my first startup? Interesting, right? Well, I had two points to consider. First point, I have a very limited amount of time, so whatever I build, I have to be able to make it in a month or two maximum. Second point, the goal is not to reinvent the wheel. So I did a bit of research and I decided to build a music streaming platform. Not that innovative, right? Well, wait a second before you judge me. Over the years, I've been to India. I lived in India, actually. I've been to the UK and now I'm back to Africa. <laughs> Jokes. Anyways, being to these different places allowed me to learn that what's old somewhere can be completely new somewhere else, thus me deciding to build a music streaming platform in 2020. With that out of the way, the very first step was going to Google and researching or searching for music player UI design so that I could copy some designs from Dribbble. I mean, get inspired by Dribbble. Second point was coding and code I did. No sleeping, just coding. No eating, just coding. No social life, no family, no nothing, just coding. Okay, wait a second. In summary, I am trying to build a music streaming platform and this is the dev vlog number one. Uh, so guys, here you are going to be having a general overview of the application. And this is basically the UI of the home screen, right? And don't worry about this strange language. This is Portuguese and I, I will give it support to multiple languages actually. And by the way, I do speak Portuguese. That's why I have some Portuguese on the application. But Simple put, we have here this button that says home uh, that will take the user for this to this screen. And we have here this with the sound icon. And basically how this application is going to work is that users will be able to stream music or download the music. And if they do download the music by clicking on this button, it's how they're going to access the music good at the top here we have a bunch of artists they're supposed to be artists and they have their artist page where you can see the number of followers if the artists are verified or not you can follow the artist or donate to them and then we have a list of top fans of the artist and this is artist pick meaning that the artists are going to be picking their top fans based on the donations they are going to receive which is awesome and then we have the top music belonging to the artist and his top albums and yeah this is the artist screen and then what i was thinking for the for this section this is the featured music right 
so artists can pay to get their songs featured on the home screen then we have featured albums which are going to be the same which are going to follow the same logic and then we have here top music at the bottom and basically this is going to be based on the number of streams or number of downloads I haven't thought about that yet uh, so now this is working this is all fine but we we have some issues here that I have to fix and again this is not a tutorial it's like a dev vlog hope you guys like it uh, you can click on the music uh, if you pay attention you'll see that you can play it and now we are streaming because all of these songs are stored on firebase I'll just reduce the volume but you cannot see the correct direct the duration you cannot see the correct duration of the sound yet I have to fix that right but you can come to multiple musics and play different musics okay and uh, here we have our um, album screen where you can see the number of songs for the album and the number of downloads and here we have two options the download button here at the top and the buy button meaning that the artist if he wants to he can just make the music free so people will just download or they will buy the songs now uh, we start having some issues here for example if I play some music from this album you can skip that's good because this is working already but then we have our first bug I guess which is here when you click on one of this let's skip skip and go back to our album you'll see that this music we, we have this music twice right this is something that I have to troubleshoot yet and uh, I know that I didn't show you guys the code yet but we'll get into that probably on the next videos so this is the first stage this was the first stage actually of this project I'm starting and I don't know if I told you guys already the goal is to use this project right because I see the need of it so yeah that was basically the that, that was basically it that was the first episode of this dev vlog and i'm showing you this project i'm building here i'm open to get suggestions and anything you guys would like to tell me you can write on the comment section below